This is Rod from Mount Washington Sewer and Drain Cleaning. We're at number 23 Marjorie Point Road in Freedom, New Hampshire. Inspecting the sewer line to see if there's any roots or any blockages inside there. The uh, pipe was snaked from another company, probably, or should I say hydro jetted about a week ago. And I didn't see any evidence of clogs, so there could have been a possibility of a high water table during all the melt off. We are looking at the baffle of the tank. And everything appears to be nice and clear right there. The drop down inside there, that looks clear. Now we're going to start coming back towards the clean out, which is the toilet in the bottom basement level. PVC pipe. Transitioning over to ABS pipe. There was a grease blockage in there. See that on oh, the top no. there? So you could tell it was jetted because it's like it cuts through it. So they must have used like a laser or sort of six, like one forward, six back or something. So nothing being in there, no roots inside there. So I wonder if this is prone to having a high water table. Yeah, it could be. The only way to tell that is you got to be there when it happens. But you figure last week we did have a lot of melting coming down. A turn here. The turn looks pretty good. Running uphill a little bit right here. But I think say, does that look like any, uh, like uh, some that's like a, a belly? That's a little bit of a belly for sure. Because we're going plus two on that. Oh, ah, okay. Looks like there might be evidence of where that fire backup might have been. It almost looks like it's a possibility of stuff inside it because this, I mean, is it ABS and no cast iron? Huh? I don't know. Yeah, it looks, looks different than the pipe walls. Yeah. 
definitely rougher, but I don't know if that's maybe just heaven for the recent backup or... Yeah, that might have been when he blasted stuff out of there. And then we come up through here. Right, let's cut this water here. I definitely see some debris sitting there. Showing a drop of 4%. Huh. Is a sag right there? It looks like it. You can definitely see some stuff swimming yeah. around. See a little clump. How much water is, is in that pipe? It's hard to tell because yeah, I'm just sitting at the bottom of it. Because it's showing me that it's pitched the right way, which is clearly not. Yeah, everything down there was, was beautiful. So we get, you know how far out we are from here? Uh, five and a half feet. So not far. Yep. But I got to check this thing as it comes back because I think this thing is not counting correctly. My other old one was spot on. Okay. Because what I do is I put it inside there, I make the first kind of turn, and then turn it on to get you true footage instead yeah. of coming in from here. Okay, we just kind of set this bath and after a remodel. Um, homeowner said before that we never had any issues with this uh, this downstairs bath. So, I mean that's definitely, that's definitely I wonder a if there's a chance, yeah. I mean there's definitely a sag right there. I don't know if he's flushing the toilet paper either. Definitely sag on the inside because we're right out of there. Yeah, we're back into draining pipe. And does that look like the same pipe material? Is that still ABS or maybe just it's still ABS? This okay. is just some muck on the side of it. Yeah. Which explains why, you know, it's just yeah, it's sitting good. there and just kind of swimming around. It's just snow globe in there right now. Ah. Now, he said it backed up. Did it back up in the shower down here, too, or just the toilet? So, initially, um, on that first clog they had about a week ago, um, we were talking. He said he did get it coming out of the shower. It was a, it was okay. a whole house backup. Um, I assume that was the same case for the other day, the second one that he had. Okay. Let's see more there now. This doesn't have yeah, any inches in this. Okay. Yeah, it's just not too far off on that. Alright, uh, is this one of those? Ah, it's a pop up. Here we go. We'll do a false flush. Because I'm seeing some of that water right there. If we slide down there a little bit, see how it slows itself down right in here? Yeah. So, yeah, she's definitely sagged. Just in that one spot. I mean, no, no cause of bad damage. Yep. Especially with these uh, low consumption toilets. Sure, and that was his other concern. They had a traditional, like, three gallon per flush one before. Um, and this one, replacement, uh, I believe, is a 1.28, but yep. not that you can buy the. The, the good old fashioned bow down. No, I tell anymore. people if you want your water pressure, rebuild your toilet. <laughs> no, that's yeah. I mean, after '94, they they cut the they cut them down to 1.6 max. Oh yeah, you love that water conservation act of 1994. Oh man, yeah. And then they just threw the toilets out there to see what they can come up with. Sag. 
Can we tell how long the sag is? Yeah. Let's get in there. Basically, we're right here. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about eleven feet. Eleven feet long. Yep. So it's probably just settled. Yeah. Ah, and will we say that's probably five feet or so out from where we are? I am. Right here, so I'm gonna go two, three, four, yeah, about four feet. About four feet. Yeah. So, in order to do that, you have to get it on the other side of that wall, and hopefully, you have enough that you can pitch it the right way. Yeah, that first junction that we saw, that was that was downstream of that sag, I think, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because there's that, we should run into that first clean out, which I think was 19 feet. Yep, yep. And there's a Y on the back side of this mechanical run, a, a full three inch line that comes in. I think we saw it, but that might be it. I think that other Y comes in from above, maybe. Let's find that Y connection. Which is right there. Is there a toilet above there that's functioning? Not currently when it's functioning. Okay. Um, we had it all plumbed in, but no fixtures are set up okay. there. I mean, it's got to be that coming down the wall here. Yeah. So it must be dropping down, and this must be like a Y or something. Because they're not supposed to have sanitary tees on their backs or their sides, but they do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially houses from this era. Um, because I'm just thinking for a, for a solution. Um, Using inst instances like this, a courtesy flush along with it to try to push the stuff, or, I mean, you can't reline it because it'll just form right to the sag. Yeah, your, your pitch is right. You don't really do anything to negate the pitch. Yep. Um, sure, the excavating that pipe and... A power flush? Just a, yeah, kind of like you're saying, a power flush to kind of keep that from, from backing up. They had almost the right idea when they came up with the toilets that have like this one button that you can flush for number one. Rod from Mount Washington Sewer and Drain Cleaning, part two of one. Freedom, New Hampshire, Marjorie Lane Road, or Marjorie Point Road. There's that above, which we think is possibly the stack or something coming down from the top floor, which from the toilet flange was 19 feet away. Running back and chasing where that sink is running into. Yeah, where that Y connects this wall of bathroom to where we are in the mechanical room, that might all be our low spot at least. Yep. Looks like the pitch is okay there. It looks like it's fine here, but it definitely looks like it's less of a sag on this side versus the other side. Because that only looked like it was a couple of feet versus, what, 11 feet? Yeah, yep. And yeah, now we're definitely upstream of that connection. Let's 
sitting for a while. It has. Not for some water will fix. You think this line might have a problem with the pitch too? That's why we're seeing so much buildup. I'm looking at a good thing. I think this has just been built up over the years. It's stuff just sitting here. Okay. So when there was that initial clog, uh, when they came and they jetted that line out, it would have backed up all the way into here because it's just pushing back. Ah, so yeah. It overflowed that shower. It came all the way up too. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So if this had been running slowly with some grease and stuff, and that's what they probably blew out of there. I mean, I can see that solidifying. They're all kind of settled yep. in this line. And who knows, whatever this might have been tied to at one point. I believe this was, the kitchen was still above this area prior. Do you think we could uh, we could clean this line out efficiently with just running some, some hard hose water down it? Yep. Get some Dawn and stuff in there and just let her rip. Just, just feed it the beans? Yep. Okay. So we still do have some compromised piping from where that this bath bottom bathroom Y and this this meet. Yes. But certainly not to the extent that we have with that bathroom. That's the pipe right there. That's the oil tank. It's behind. Yeah. So that pipe on this over there is definitely settled back some. Hmm. 